Welcome to the EasyU tutorial about cultivating and qualifying personal or commercial lines leads in EasyLinks. This video is a step-by-step -step training to complete the task of cultivating leads. We will not be covering every button or feature on the pages you see as we have a mission to complete. To learn about every button or feature, check out the videos we reference throughout the training. In this course, you will learn how to import prospect lists into Sales Center, how to send email campaign templates to reach out to those leads, how to qualify the validity and interest of leads, how to convert qualified leads into a sales opportunity, how to verify prospect information accuracy and add sales notes to files, how to assign producers and finally how to verify all necessary information before pushing it into the sales pipeline. Please keep in mind that some of these tasks will only be available to admins. There's a lot to cover. So let's get started. To begin, we'll discuss how to import prospect lists into the prospecting section of Sales Center in EasyLinks. This will assist you greatly with the next step in the process, which is sending email campaigns to prospects and leads. First, you want to make sure you've created a CSV file of your prospect list as we suggested in the checklist video. Please note that there are separate templates in EasyLinks for personal and commercial lines prospects. Once your CSV is completed and ready to go, hover over the Sales Center icon and click on Prospecting. Within Prospecting, click on Add New List in the left-hand panel. Here, you can choose whether the prospect list is personal or commercial, name the list, select the lead source, and assign it to a producer. Next, click on Choose File to upload your CSV, and click inside the box to agree to EasyLink's acceptable use policy. If it's your first time importing a prospect list, you can go through the field mapping process to save you time in the future. Mapping is telling the system which headers on the CSV match the field in EasyLinks. When you finish field mapping, click Continue. In the window, you can validate prospects. The tab on the left shows valid records, while the tab on the right shows invalid records if any. This pertains to the records within the CSV file. Essentially, these tabs tell you which leads the system found to be valid or invalid, given the field mapping that was done in the previous step. If you have any records on the invalid tab, you'll need to fix these before you can move forward. As the message states at the top, you can hover over the red fields to see detailed error information. To fix the field, click on the red text which says required. A text box will appear where you can input the missing information. With each field that you fix, it will disappear from the invalid tab and the system will automatically move it to the valid tab. Once all records are valid, click the Import Valid button at the bottom. A pop-up will appear if the prospects are imported successfully. Click OK in the pop-up to continue to the Sales Center slash prospecting page we initially started on. On the left-hand side, you'll see your newly imported leads list under the File Imports section. In an effort to keep Sales Center prospecting data clean, only true prospects appear in prospecting. After importing a lead list, any prospects matched to applicants will no longer show up in prospecting. The same holds true for prospects converted to applicants after an opportunity is created for them in prospecting. This allows an agency to truly target only new prospects. To learn more, check out our Importing Leads and Sales Center video. Next, we'll cover how to send email campaigns to your imported leads list. First, you want to make sure you've created an email campaign template for personal lines and commercial lines respectively, depending on which lines of business you write, as we suggested in the checklist video. Once your templates are ready to go, you can send them to your list of leads from Sales Center. To do this, checkmark the leads on the list you imported from step 1 of this video. You can select one, multiple, or all the leads. As soon as you have the leads selected, click the Send Email Campaign button at the top of the list. Please note that if the lead does not have a valid email address on file, you will not be able to send an email campaign to them. In the Start a New Email Campaign window, choose whether you want to start the campaign as the currently signed in user or another user within your agency. In the Template drop down, find the leads template we just created a moment ago. Now, make sure the Marketing Campaign option is selected. Then, choose a date and time you want to send the email campaign. It will automatically populate to the current date and time, but you can schedule them for a future date if you wish to do so. In the table below, you can preview your email campaign by click on the Preview button in the far right column. Lastly, click the Schedule button. The email campaign will be sent immediately or at the date and time you selected. 
To learn more in depth about the different pages we covered, check out our how to create email campaign templates and how to create and send an email campaign videos. The next step in the process is to qualify the validity and interest of your leads. As your leads return your emails from the email campaigns sent out, you'll want to begin identifying whether they are valid leads and what their interest is. This is something that should be done before moving on to the next step. Now, we want to verify prospect information accuracy and add any pertinent sales notes to their file. If any fields were missing or came up invalid during importing your CSV into Sales Center Prospecting, please make sure you obtain the correct information from the lead in question. Within the prospect's file under File Imports, you can edit their information, validate their address, and add notes. As you continue discussions with your prospects, it's a good idea to have them verify all information within their file. To validate their address, click on the yellow button that says Validate. If the system can't validate the address, you'll want to reach out to the prospect to ensure accuracy. At the bottom of your prospect's file, you can add important notes in the Notes section. Please keep in mind that there is a character limit of 500. When you've verified all information, click the Save button at the bottom of the prospect's file. To learn more, check out our Importing Leads in Sales Center video. Once leads are qualified and their information has been validated, we need to convert them into a sales opportunity and assign to a producer. Creating an opportunity for a prospect is what creates the applicant in the EasyLink system. If you're creating an opportunity for a commercial client, please note that the business name outlined in your field mapping will also be the account name in EasyLinks unless otherwise specified. At the top of the prospect's record, you'll see a button to the right that says, Create Opportunity. Clicking on this will bring up the Create Opportunity window. Here you can assign and update the producer, CSR, lead source, and opportunity source. Now that the source, producer and CSR have been assigned, let's talk about the lines of business section. When creating an opportunity for a lead, you'll be asked to identify the line or lines of business. You have the option to add individual LOBs now or later once the opportunity has been created. We recommend doing the LOBs in a later step, because if you make a mistake when entering the lines of business during this conversion step from lead to prospect, you cannot remove the line of business from the prospect's profile. We'll cover how to add LOBs to the prospect's profile in our next video. Now, let's finish creating this sales opportunity for the prospect. In the Create Opportunity window, make sure all required fields are filled in and then click the Create Opportunity button. Remember, this action creates the prospect's account in EasyLinks. To learn more in depth about the different pages we covered, check out our Sales Center Pipeline and Importing Leads in Sales Center videos. That's all for this EasyU course on how to cultivate and qualify personal or commercial lines leads in easy links. The next step is quote and propose, so make sure to check out that video next. Thanks for watching.